Hey everybody, this is Steve, and every new year is a new beginning. Being a Christian isn't easy, and despite our best efforts, we may find that our relationship with God often takes a back seat to other parts of our lives. As we look back on the last year, we may find that we didn't pray every day like we wanted to, that we didn't fast as much as we hoped we would, that we missed church on more Sundays than we'd like to admit. We may find that we struggled to actually live like Christians on a day-to-day -day basis for any number of reasons. Maybe there wasn't enough time to pray every day. Maybe we were too busy to make it to liturgy every Sunday. Maybe we struggled with a particular person in our lives or found ourselves caught up in unhealthy habits. Or maybe we were too bored or uninterested to bother. It's interesting to reflect on what we really mean when we label ourselves Christians, whether or not our hearts and our actions are really behind that name, or if we're just going through the motions. It's important that we honestly assess where our loyalty lies and what we truly love. For example, like many of you, I like sports. And if you asked me, I'd probably say I love the teams I support, especially the New York Islanders my favorite hockey team. And that comes through in the choices I make. I'll make time to watch games on TV or at least listen to them while I'm doing something else three or four times a week for a few hours at a time. I'll proudly wear an Islanders hat or t-shirt when I'm hanging out with friends and I'll happily share news about the Islanders on my social media. I'll gladly spend $50 for tickets to a game and won't think twice about making the long trip to and from the arena no matter how bad the traffic or crowds may be. And if it's the playoffs, I might even spend a few hundred dollars on tickets. And I do all that without a second thought, because the Islanders are more important to me than other ways I might spend my time or money, and other things I might pay attention to or talk about. Like I said, I love my team, and that affects the way I live my life. And at the start of a new year, I'm challenged to reflect on whether I love God and neighbor as much as I want to, or say I do. I admit it, there are plenty of mornings when I ignore God and don't even offer him a simple hello. There are plenty of meals when I should be fasting that somehow end up including a slice of pizza. There are lots of Sunday mornings when I'll convince myself that it's okay to sleep in rather than go to liturgy because I'm tired and I had a long week and I deserve a break. I struggle with this stuff and I work for the church. And it's important that we take the time to reflect on the direction of our lives so we can make some necessary changes. Because love isn't easy. It's a choice, often a hard choice. And what we love, what we truly love, is revealed in our actions. And here, at the end of one year and the beginning of another, I realize that my actions suggest that I love my favorite hockey team more than I love my Lord and Savior. That's a difficult thing to admit to myself, and it's even harder to admit out loud in front of all of you. Yet I know I can't address this problem until I admit that this is a problem. Because I want to love the Lord with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength. I know that the Lord is good and He loves me more than I deserve. I know that the Lord has helped me more times than I can count, that He saved me from death itself and offered me the gift of eternal life in His kingdom. And I know that if my life is less focused on Christ than I'd like, that it's up to me to be honest and brave enough to admit it. That it's up to me to start doing what I already know I need to do to jumpstart my spiritual life to make sure that Christ really is the main focus of my life, just as he is the main focus for all of his saints. And that starts by admitting all the ways my life is currently off course and reaching out to the Lord for his mercy and kindness as I try to direct my heart and my mind, my whole life, back towards him. So let's be the bee and make sure that our lives are focused on Christ and his kingdom. Be the bee and live orthodoxy. Remember to like and subscribe and share. I'll see you all next week. Thanks to our supporters on Patreon who helped make this episode possible. To support the creation of more Orthodox Christian content, please visit patreon.com slash y2am.